We're back with the growing shelter crisis here in the Bay State tonight. Some House Democrats are proposing a new bill. Yes, it would put limits on how long people can stay in emergency shelters, and that includes both migrants and residents. NBC 10's John Maroney is at the State House with details. We'll turn it over to John. JC, the state's emergency shelter system is getting overloaded, as you know. So some lawmakers are now thinking about limiting the time a person can stay in a shelter to nine months. If we don't do something to change this and make it fairer, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sink under its own weight. The Speaker of the House talking about a Democratic plan for dealing with the state's migrant crisis, a $245 million supplemental budget aimed at helping newcomers. My family came from the Dominican Republic to the U.S., and everybody that immigrated to this country, we came here for a reason, because this is, you know, this country of opportunities. The proposal does impose restrictions on shelter life. For the most part, stays would be limited to nine consecutive months. That could be extended 90 days if someone is employed or in a job training program. Pregnant women and people with disabilities could remain for up to a year. We've talked about those uh, capacity issues in the past. It's why I instituted the cap months ago. It's why we instituted the wait list. Um, so I look forward to reviewing what came out of the House. Under the bill, the governor would be asked to seek federal waivers authorizing work for people living in shelters. And tax credits totaling $10 million would be available for companies willing to train them. How do we manage the long-term cost of this program? that has gone from a $300 million a year program to a $900 million a year program. Doug Howgate of the Massachusetts Taxpayers Foundation says the state needs to look at ways to control its own costs. We certainly can't rely on federal action anytime soon on either a policy or a financial footing. And so how do we manage through this problem? Now, the House will take up that supplemental budget tomorrow. If the money is approved, it will only last through the end of this fiscal year. Well, I've in Boston outside the State House, John Maroney, NBC 10 Boston.